Counting days, counting days since my love up and got lost on me. Every breath that I've been taking since you left feels like a waste on me. I've been holding on to hope that you'll come back when you can find some peace. Cause every word that I've heard spoken since you left feels like a hollow street. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind. But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I need you by my side. There must be something in the Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris. Uh, it is the weekend. It's Saturday. It is 7:18 in the morning. <laughs> And I'm gonna be doing like a weekend reset, basically getting everything in order today. Um, that way that I'm able to chill on Sunday and kind of just vibe out um, going into the next week. Uh, life hack. If you guys don't run your dishwasher twice a day, please do that for yourself. Run it at night, that way when you get up in the morning, you literally can enter the dishwasher, have clean dishes for the day, and then you can put everything in there um, throughout the day that you use. Uh, sometimes it might be full. I leave a couple of cups in there. That doesn't happen that often. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of like a life hack of staying organized. But today is just gonna be showing you guys how I stay organized, what I do on kind of a reset day um, and getting things done. My counter space, I keep this as minimal as possible, as you can see over here. Um, and I do that for the simple fact of if you clutter like your space, I think it clutters your thoughts and you're not able to get anything done. And it kind of demotivates me um, from cooking if there's a, a whole bunch of stuff on the counter. As you can see, like everything's like properly spaced out. I got a little bit of OCD. And as you can see over here, the same thing. But um, yeah, that's just kind of a tip to make sure if you're not like using it frequently, don't put it out on the counter because there's really no point. It's kind of just sitting there for no reason. So everything that's out on the counter, I actually use, and I'm about to use my tea kettle right now, which we can go over here. I'm actually about to do like a bigger cup than I usually do. Little glass tea kettle thing that I have, and that will focus on that. Um, yeah, what I do is I put two of these detox teas in here because this is like a larger little kettle and then I pour the hot water and since it's summer I'm doing like cold tea so I'm gonna have to put this in the refrigerator for a little while and then I'll also add some honey to it to give a little bit of taste uh, I do like coffee because I do drink coffee like often to be completely honest um, but tea is a better option for you guys to be drinking on a consistent basis versus always drinking coffee. We all know the effects of, you know, caffeine and things of that sort, but there's nothing wrong with, you know, enjoying yourself and actually enjoying your life. Um, so yeah, I'm about to let this chill out for a little bit. So as you can see, right there, got me a nice little, probably two cups of tea, maybe two and a half, who knows, if I add a little bit more water. I'm gonna add some honey to that too. Then I'm going to put it here in the refrigerator and then I'm going to get started on cleaning my living room because I need to clean my couch with my little cleaner and stuff over here. So I'm going to jump into that, probably roll some B-roll and then pick up with you guys. Probably when I'm going to head to the gym for a little bit to work on my boxing.
All right, I just got done cleaning the living room, straighten up here in my office. Um, if you notice, my office is a little bit more spacious now because I removed the clothing rack and also two chairs that were over here. They were pointless, I wasn't using them. With anything that you have sitting around your house that you're not using and it's kind of just taking up space, just throw it out because you're probably not gonna use it anyways. I also cleaned out my closet over here to put my photography equipment, all my tripods and all that great stuff. But um, that carpet slashed couch cleaner that I used, you guys should pick that up because I know y'all don't clean y'all's couches. And if you say you do, when's the last time you cleaned it? Drop it down in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's just good to use that. It doesn't take that long. It does take a while to dry. So if you're gonna be um, planning to sit on your couch anytime soon, don't do that. I'm gonna be moving around, going to the gym, running some errands and stuff so I don't have to be in my living room per se. So I'm gonna let that dry, open up the windows and let the um, air kinda do its job. But yeah, jumping into a collaboration that I'm doing, uh, it's gonna be on Instagram, but it's with Hoka. And if you guys don't know about Hoka, they are a great running shoe. I've seen multiple people um, wearing these all over the city. I have never tried them on myself until they sent me a pair. And these shits feel like you're walking on clouds. 100% feel like you're walking on clouds and they're very lightweight. I'm excited to go back outside and run now. Um, and I might put these on and go run on the treadmill today um, to see how they feel in the gym. But I really wanna go out just by the water um, and run in like a mile or two and see how these feel on feet. Cause I am doing again, a collaboration with them. They're having a uh, event in New York and these are unreleased. And they sent me um, a couple of different clothing items too, like a shirt, some pants and stuff to go along with it, which I'm not gonna pull out right now. I might show you guys later, but that's a collaboration that I'm working on. Collabs this year have been like all over the place. You know, I think I've made, I think I probably made like 150, uh, maybe 175, somewhere around there, which is kind of slow, but it's still a lot of money um, compared to, I guess, what other people make online. But I'm used to getting to around like the 300K mark, but the economy is all over the place. So that's why I'm always telling you guys to focus on other streams of revenue. I am working on dropping uh, my fitness gear. I'm working on dropping my own scrubbers, starting a whole completely new company um, called The Creature of Habits, where it'll focus on um, self-care, um, personal development, and things like that. So stay tuned for that. We basically got all the branding and stuff done. We're gonna do some tweaks and stuff like that. I'm ordering a whole bunch of samples of um, items and stuff that'll be on the website. So that's another journey that I'm taking. Um, so always push yourself to keep going and expand to new things. Don't stay stagnant. Um, like they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket because um, content creation can be up and down. You could be doing really well and then you could uh, not be doing so well and you have to wait for these payments and stuff to come in. But you always want to feel comfortable um, and have enough money for yourself to move how you want to move. And that's the um, goal of myself and I hope for you guys is to be able to have that financial freedom that you want, but not to hold you too long. Um, I want to, one, ask, how are you guys doing? Drop that down in the comments. Um, it's basically like a little check-in um, for my friends to let you guys know that um, I do care about you. Hope you guys care about my well-being. Drop a comment down below of how you're feeling. Just be honest, be transparent, um, and maybe um, I can give you some encouraging words in the comments to keep you going. But if I don't get to get to you down in the comments, just know that I'm rooting for you. Stay focused on what you need to focus on. Understand that the personal battles that you're facing, you have all the tools to overcome them, um, no matter what it is in life. There's always gonna be obstacles thrown your way. It's how you approach them. You either let yourself get backed in a, a corner and you, you cower out and you just ball up, or you fight your way out. So I want you guys to continuously fight your way out. I'm about to go fight my ass up in the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna get in there for probably about like 30 minutes, work on some footwork, work on a, um, a couple of techniques just to get my, my jab and my, my cross down hook and um, just get better for training coming up here on Monday, which I'm gonna take you guys with me on my next training session and give you guys a little bit of insight on that. But um, yeah, let's jump right into today. pre-workout I just showed you is something that I take um, every now and then. I don't take it every single day because sometimes I do like to drink a beet juice and drink like a 
I drink. Eat a banana before I go to the gym, just some natural sugars and stuff like that. Um, this works really well, so if you guys wanna check it out, it is on my Amazon list, it's called Bucked Up. I forgot what flavor this is, but it's good. Haven't had any real issues with like any of the flavors. All of them pretty much taste the same. That shit is a little expensive though. I think it's like $50. $50 for some pre-workout is crazy. But you can really just create your own juices in the morning to give you some energy. But it is an option if you are feeling a little bit sluggish like I am today, because it's, it's gloomy outside. The sun ain't giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm not, I'm not energized like I, I should be. So I'm gonna use this, go to the gym. I might mic up, give y'all a little bit of walkthrough of me talking to myself or walking myself through a couple of the boxing drills and stuff um, that I'm getting better at um, every single day. But yeah, let's head to the gym. All right. So I'm testing out these shoes. And right now they feel good. I'll see what it feels like when I start running. But like I said earlier, they literally feel like clouds. So it's cool to be collaborating with the brands that one, I've never tried their product out, but I've heard really good things about it. And then two, it fits into my lifestyle. So I'm gonna test them out on the treadmill and then I'll probably test them out a little bit later this week outside because Low key, it looks like it's about to fucking rain. But I'm about to get like a, I don't know, probably five minute jog in before I switch back into my other shoes to do like boxing training. I feel like they're honestly taking a lot more impact off my shins because my APOs that I wear are flat footed. So I feel like I take on all the impact. There's a lot of cushion. So hopefully, as I continue to get older, because I'm about to be 30. I don't feel this shit in my knees anymore. But I'm gonna probably give y'all a foot shot so you can see how they look. All right, I'm about to turn the speed up to probably like a fast pace and then a sprint to see how well they hold up. All right, we're on like 8.5 right now. Still feel great. Again, I can feel the dramatic difference as far as when I'm running. It's not like an impact on my shin like my other shoes. So I'll definitely be running these hoes. Plus low key, probably like three inches taller with these shits on. All right, so like I said, these feel a lot better because they're not like super flat footed. Like my APLs, they got a whole bunch of like cushion in between them. I would honestly say it's probably at least almost one and a half, two inches of like padding on the sole, which is great. It takes a lot of impact off of my shins when I'm running. So every single time that I run on the treadmill, I will be switching into these because I'm not trying to be 50 years old with shitty ass knees and stuff like that. But overall, great so far. And it's good to, one, again, partner with a, a brand that actually has solid shit versus, you know, brands that just be putting out whatever and trying to just pay you money to say whatever about it too. So. I'm about to switch out of these and go over here and do some of this boxing footwork and yeah, I'll probably do that for another like 25 minutes or so and call it a day. What if I told you that I love you? Would you tell me that you love me back? What if I told you that I miss you? You tell me that you miss me back What if I told you that I need you Would you tell me that you need me Yeah, if I tell you all my feelings Alright, cool, we just got back to the crib The workout was good Um, A lot of good, you know, bag work, stuff like that I was there definitely for longer than 30 minutes Probably about like an hour or so Because I was filming But I hope y'all liked the kind of mic'd up review of the shoes and stuff that I did if you guys like that, put that below. I'm trying to talk a little bit more on here and not just do so much B-roll and stuff. I still want to do storytelling, but also just want to give you guys my personality. And I'm not going to cap, y'all. Like, I'm getting in shape. Hold on. Let me flip this around. Your boy getting in shape, man. I'm getting in shape. I don't even think that should do it justice. Let me put it over here. Hold on. Flip that joint around. Put that on. Let me see. I'm getting in shape. 
You know what I'm saying? And speaking of getting in shape, I need to go to the store um, to go pick me up some salmon, probably some asparagus for lunch, and maybe some quinoa, because I don't want to be eating anything um, crazy hard, crazy high in carbs. So I'm trying to get all of this shit off. Um, and that's going to take a little minute, but we get in there. So I'm about to run to the grocery store. Uh, I'll probably shower when I get back, but go pick up some food. But if I told you that I love, 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 Honestly, there's nothing more peaceful than living by the water besides obviously the wind that's probably blowing right now, but the view unmatched. Just being able to like walk out of the house, um, go straight towards the water or catch the ferry to go to the city. Um, it's just always cool and convenient. I think the reason, well, the reason I work hard is to have convenience in my life and for me to be able to kind of do the things that I want to do, stay the places that I want to stay. Um, and that just takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of uh, just hard work. It's not gonna happen overnight. I think some people get up in their heads about, you know, things aren't working out right now, but take it one day at a time because working to see this every day and just having some peaceful environment to, uh, to live in is great, man. So as I head to Whole Foods on this beautiful walk, uh, just gonna take it in and, and be grateful for what I have. Love you. Now it's too late. You have someone new. He loves you like I do. Do you love the way he's treating you? But if I told you that I love you, would you tell me that you love me? So I'm back in the grocery store. I picked up literally like three pieces of sea bass. Sea bass is expensive, bro. Like this one costs fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars. $16, like I might need to start going fishing because this is crazy. Then I got the um, salmon, this is the wild caught salmon for $8. Then the other one for like seven bucks. Um, got some truff pasta sauce. If you guys haven't tried this, this shit is fire. Um, I got two cans of that because I usually need it. Some gluten-free spaghetti uh, for that to go with. Some asparagus and also just like some strawberries and some blackberries. I'm actually going to order some groceries on the computer today. I picked up this stuff because every single time that I order it online, they never seem to get it or they get the salmon that I don't want, but that is what it is. So I'm probably going to, let's see. Man, I'm gonna shower, then eat this and come back to this stuff later. So I've been testing out this new um, kale and green tea spinach vitamins cleanser from youth to the people. This stuff is the truth. I really fuck with it. Um, along with the Verse Gentle Retinol Serum, the Ultra Repair Oat Hemp Seed and Dry Oil um, right there from the face. That's from First Aid Beauty. And then for my moisturizer, it's the Bloom Cream from um, Beckman 1802, and then just to lock it in, I do Vaseline, but I really like this uh, cleanser because originally I was using this cleanser from um, First Aid Beauty. It works nice, but I like this one because it's a lot lighter on my face. I feel like when I'm washing it and I feel as the green tea smells a lot better too. So yeah, that's my facial routine right now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all and give y'all an update. Cause I feel like I switch it every now and then. I don't keep my facial routine the same just because I like to try new products and stuff like that to see different results. And like I said, I really love this one cause of the smell and it's a lot lighter and not as foamy as the other cleanser that I was using. But yeah, it's kind of expensive though. I'm not even gonna say kind of expensive, it's expensive. Luckily, they gifted it to me, so I was testing it out. And they sent over another product, this. This Super Berry Hydrate Plus Glow Dream Oil. 
I'll keep crying. I need to try this too. I might try it out uh, next week or something like that. But yeah, that's my face routine kind of update that I wanted to give y'all. If y'all want to try out these products, you can find it on YouTube to the people for the uh, face wash. And then the rest of the stuff is on my Amazon list. I don't think Use to the people is actually on Amazon. If they are, I'll link it below and give you guys an update on that. But make sure that you got a skincare routine that you're doing consistently because if you don't do it consistently, you're not gonna see any type of results for yourself and you might have dry skin um, and all the rest of those terrible things. I still get rare acne every now and then. It's probably because I'm not drinking enough water sometimes, but other than that, a consistent face routine keeps my skin clear, so. Add this retinol, two little pumps. Put that on there, and then, and then. Mm -hmm. Rub that in. Let this sit for like a minute, and then I'll come back and put the uh, oil on my face. But as you can see, skin already going. All right, now that that's settled in, I'm gonna go in with my oil, which you can do drop, drop, nose, cheek, cheek, and then put some down there. Bam. Rub that in. This should be having my skin busting. Highly recommend that. Then once that's done, go with a little bit of moisturizer right here. Don't need too much, because I'm gonna add Vaseline, I'm not gonna. Remember your skincare goes all the way down to your like neck area. I think a lot of people kind of miss that. So, boom, get that in there. And then just to lock in all the moisture and stuff, um, I go in with a little bit of Vaseline, which I use Vaseline on my head too, along with Shea Butter. Um, so, do that just to get rid of like any kind of cuts or something from shaving. Put the Vaseline on, and make sure to go up, not down when you're doing stuff. And that's how I keep my skin glowing. Along with my diet, of course, but yeah. I find myself going down too. But um, yeah, that's the uh, skin routine. I'm gonna go fix my food and then probably uh, wrap up because I've done everything I basically need to do today. I'll start writing down my to-do list um, for the upcoming week, that way I'm prepared. And I can just chill on Sunday. Today's been great, probably knock out some laundry too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go cook this. I'm gonna probably cook some sea bass. I'm gonna move for sea bass. And then, uh, yeah, call it a day. All right, so let's try this out. This sea bass be busting, bro. Sea bass be buttery. For the price, it better be. Damn, see, it's falling apart. Can't even grab none. Damn. That's a hit. Then asparagus. Lesson. You don't need a whole bunch of seasoning. Salt, pepper. Add a little bit of like butter on there. I use vegan butter. Tastes the same. But this is a great meal for me. Like after the gym and stuff, some chill, some light. Um, plus it just gets me filled up um, with protein and stuff like that. So that's the diet I've been trying to stick to. When I went to Dallas, like I kind of fell off a little bit when I came back, um, but I'm getting back into the swing of things because again, I'm trying to like lean out as well as, you know, keep my strength and stuff like that. But today's been chill. I'm pretty much done. Like I said, um, I'm going to do some laundry, uh, watch some TV, then edit this video to have it ready to post um, basically on Sunday. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. Please those you guys. Damn. Hot as hell. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.